Hey everybody, welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our September 23rd fishing report for the Great Bay and surrounding area, brought to you by the Great Bay Marina. Guys, also want to remind you about the uh, fishing tournament that American Angler is putting on. They have two coming up in October. We've got the American Angler Classic on the 10th and the 4th Annual American Angler Surf Fishing Tournament on the 30th. If this is something you're interested in, reach out to Carl Hartman. We'll put his contact information below uh, and uh, get more information from him. Guys, also hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. We are closing on this house, a thousand subscribers, so we appreciate your help there. But also, we are releasing a video with Bayside Dave on how to surf fish for stripers. So we're excited about that. Be watching for that video coming out early next week. Yeah, you guys aren't going to want to miss that one. That was a good one. Well, we learned a lot. We learned a lot from that video. So, um, all right, well, uh, fluke season did not go out uh, like we were hoping to. Um, you know, if any of you guys out over the weekend, you know the weather was not super nice to us. Sunday was okay, but uh, Friday night we actually went out, uh, went out to the inlet, uh, Great Bay there, drifted for about an hour. But between the tide running so hard and the the wind whipping around, it just was not happening. Um, didn't even get a bite. So we actually ended up going back to the rough grappling point, anchoring up, and caught a bunch of blowfish on, on Friday night. Uh, then Saturday night, I got back out with my family, and um, we set up out there off grappling point. Put our two uh, clam chum logs out, and it wasn't even about 30 seconds. That I barely had time to hand the pole to my wife, and she got, uh, she got into them. Uh, we had a great time. Caught about 26 blowfish total. Um, my whole family had a good time. Um, and the, the one little secret I'll tell you guys that, I mean, it's not a super secret, but uh, squid was not working. Clam was what was doing it. But what I ended up doing was taking the squid, soaking it in the clam juice, and that was doing just as good as the clam was, and it stayed on the hook a lot longer. Uh, so that was a good, good time. Um, Matt was out on his uh, boat, the bonefish. Uh, he went out and headed up the Mullica River on Saturday night. Uh, was able to catch this nice striper here. Uh, then on Sunday, he went back out and caught a nice uh, mess of white perch. Uh, he was using bloodworms. Uh, Tommy Venom got out to the barn, get light jetty, and caught about a dozen tog in about an hour, uh, including this nice 13-incher. Uh, Mike Fox sent us something that we have never seen. He reached out to us through email to tell the story of Mariana Therese. Um, she is someone who outfishes her husband. I, you know, Johnny, I understand the feeling. All right, whenever I take my wife out, she outfishes me also. But they were, they were out uh, by the fish factory in the Great Bay, set up for some uh, blowfish. And Mariana hooked up with this 24-inch Atlantic smooth puffer fish. Now, this thing, I mean, this is, this is a cool-looking fish. Uh, first time I've ever seen one. Um, however, they are poisonous. So if you guys catch one of these, do not take it home for dinner. Make sure that you release it back into the bay. Take a picture and, and, and move on. Uh, but awesome job, Mariana, there. And uh, Johnny, maybe get her next time. Yeah, I don't think that'd be worth a good <laughs> last meal there. No, I don't think so. That's <laughs> not the way I want to go out. All right, Dale Hawk, he went out of um, the Barnegat Bay with his buddy Sam. They were to catch five keeper uh, Fluke up to 24 inches. He said the bite was slow. They caught everything on nuclear chicken. So it uh, looks like that was a great way to uh, end the season. Then Carl Chin, he was surf fishing off Surf City. Um, landed a couple of shorts using pink shine teasers with a bucktail and nuclear chicken. Um, and then John Samakowitz uh, went out with his family and friends in Little Egg Harbor Inlet on Sunday. Caught a ton of shorts, a bunch of sea robins, four weekies. He said everyone's catching fish, so they had a great time. Also got an update on uh, PJC. Oh, PJC. If you remember him, he wasn't able to catch any keepers so far this year <laughs> for the last three years. But he got a keeper, had to go all the way to Florida to get it, caught this 70-pound amberjack. Tell you what, that's commitment right there, trolling from Jersey to Florida just for a keeper. <laughs> but, you know, he did it, and uh, judging by the smile on his face, looks like it was worth it. But patrol. hopefully next year uh, he'll be able to land one of those uh, elusive keeper flukes. <laughs> All right, guys, and the tides this um, tides this weekend for Graveling Point. We got Friday, 11.26 a.m. and 11.49 p.m. Saturday is uh, 12.05 p.m. Sunday is uh, 12.35 a.m. and 12.46 p.m. And the weather, uh, rain on Friday, but Saturday and Sunday are looking nice, and we got highs in the low 70s. So thanks for watching, guys. If you get on the water, we want to see the pictures of, of the fishy catch. Uh, send us your reports, and uh, uh, have a good weekend. Good luck, everybody.